Hi Aries, this is Aqua Moonlight. Thank you so much for tuning back in or welcome if you are new here. So today we're going to go ahead and do a reading for you. This is going to be for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node and Jupiter. And we're going to see whatever spirit wants you to know. This could be advice, this could be guidance, this could be messages for career, love, spiritual growth, your spiritual path, whatever they most want you to hear. Okay, so we're going to go with that and see what comes up here today for you. So just take what resonates, just take what fits with you. If you do connect with this, um, please consider hitting the like button. It really helps the channel so much and helps the video reach whoever is most meant to hear it. So I'd really appreciate it. All right, so let's get into your message then, Aries. So what does Aries need to know? What is the message today for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node, and Jupiter? So we have Direction Guardian, Choose Your Path, and we have Great Teacher, Learn from Spiritual Experience. So for some of you Aries, um, for some, you could be feeling kind of emotional. Maybe you have been crying, maybe you've been purging, you've been um, wrapping up something in your life, wrapping up a cycle, wrapping up a certain point in your journey. Um, and I do feel like there's a, definitely a sense of freedom coming up for you with this white burn. Um, they want to encourage you to know that you have so much freedom ahead of you, so much freedom at your disposal. And I do feel like many new opportunities might be starting to present themselves to you, or they soon will. Um, with the Direction Guardian here too, you could even be deciding which possibility to choose from right now, which path to choose from, um, which direction to face. I'm also hearing something about you're getting rid of nonsense is what I'm hearing. So maybe you are allowing yourself to kind of, um, again, set yourself free. So maybe you're starting to feel this way that you want to set yourself free. You want to, in some type of way, um, you're no longer looking back. Some of you here could have had a certain catalyst in your life recently, um, or there may be an upcoming event that will serve as a catalyst for you to... make these changes. Yes, the fool. Yeah, I mean, I'm just getting here for you. It seems like you're choosing to, you're choosing the higher path. You're choosing a different path. You're choosing a better path. You're choosing um, a, a painless path, I'm hearing. So whatever that's going to mean for you, if it's something that you are applying yourself to when it comes to your love life you're deciding i want to move forward kind of painlessly meaning that you want to you know maybe disconnect from something the justice card coming through this could even be something in your health whatever it is it feels like with the white bird and the fool spirit really wants you to know that you are ready you're ready now so whatever you feel ready for with the justice card um, it does feel like final kind of decisions or conclusions are being made in your life right now, or they already have. It feels like many kind of long-standing issues or blockages could be becoming less challenging for you. The Five of Pentacles, yeah, at the bottom, and the Seven of Pentacles. Also for some of you Aries, I'm hearing that you're not going to be there to do everyone else's work, um, whether that's healing other people 
or feeling like you have to be there for other people, feeling like they can't take care of themselves. You have to take care of these people or you have to, you know, even bend over backwards for certain people. For some of you, that is part of what you are releasing um, with this Five of Pentacles. It feels like you've been in situations that have been one-sided or you've been in situations to where you've had to kind of pull the strings or you've had to um, uphold the the environment or the relationship or the job or whatever it is you've had to kind of you've had to kind of be what's the word for it in a certain space that was not maybe allowing you to be as happy as you could be and I feel like what is shifting now is that you are deciding to move into a new direction or it's just kind of the energies around you are going to start to change in that way I do feel for some of you Aries you will have a very important decision to make this could be a certain job for some of you yes three of wands could be about location could be about travel a trip coming up um, you may have an important decision coming through and I feel like spirit wants you to know that you are divinely guided by your intuition so as you tap more into your intuition and you ask yourself which path which direction which which way feels better to me which way feels more more aligned to me that's the answer for you especially if you are deciding that you have you know kind of you're done with something or you've outgrown something for some of you this definitely could be about a job um, for some and I do feel also the the guidance coming up for you too, Aries is that spirit wants you to know that really anything is possible so for example this is just an example but if you've always wanted that certain job but it's too far from you or you feel like You've always wanted to move here to this location, but you felt like you could never do it. Um, Spirit really wants you to know that they are on your side. They have your back. There, there's a feeling of you shifting your perspective in order to allow more growth to happen in your life, which is where you could be at this like ultimatum or decision time um, about what you know what what is really possible for you and what events and circumstances can you really allow in your life uh, and which ones are maybe you've, you've kind of settled for in a way. Also here, there's a message coming up from Spirit, your guides, wanting you to know that if you feel like things have been moving a bit slowly, maybe in the last um, however long, could even be for years, it could be for months, if you've been feeling like things have been moving slowly, you've been frustrated, you've been wondering why it's been moving so slowly, again, there really has been a reason for it. And I feel like your efforts that you've been putting into work especially, but whatever it could be, are about to really um, kind of show you what you put your work into will manifest in the physical world. Um, so you, you kind of are going to have a wish granted for you, especially that you felt that you were pushing so hard for something or you wanted something so much. And at the time it didn't happen or at the time, it, you know, it wasn't the right, it wasn't the right time. Um, and so this is again, spirit really wanting you to know that you have a beautiful wish fulfillment coming in. And I'm also getting another message. Some of you here could be working on your physical appearance or you're starting to feel more attractive within your physical body. Um, and this is something just kind of like a bonus for you. I feel like, uh, or if you've had any health issues, it feels like you're going to be getting back a sense of energy, vitality, uh, and also feeling more attractive in certain ways. Um, They just keep bringing up the cycles, the cycles. Actually, I'm going to get one more of these. The cycles of life have been ebbing and flowing in your life for uh, in divine kind of order. And so what has been down will never be permanently down. You know, what's meant to go back up will always, you know, everything's a cycle. So let go of the need to be right, the peacekeeper. 
So I think I said before too, for someone out there, for some people, there may be something to do with um, you being there for other people or trying to make other people happy. And you're kind of, I feel like you're going to be seeing, for some of you with the Justice card, there could even be some type of, uh, this could be coming through in various different ways for different people. It could be a legal situation. It could be that you kind of receive words that give you closure or you are able to understand the higher purpose to why certain things in your life, especially related to people, I think, people, lovers, um, unfair treatment, it's like you're going to see why it happened and you're going to be able to hold your own peace and have a container for your own happiness and joy. And that's what spirit wants you to focus on. If you have not been doing that, focus on your path, nobody else's path, focus on you with the nine of cups here. This feels with the fool and the three of wands and this great experience, the, the great teacher. Um, it's really allowing yourself to walk your own journey, walk your own path and and really take comfort and peace in knowing that again, you can't do anybody else's work for them. And I don't know if this is something that you tried to do or if this is just you were inter that you were kind of mingled into a complicated situation. Um, and if that's the case, you're learning to detach yourself from that and separate yourself from other people's energy, other people's business, other people's uh, negativity, whatever it is. There's something about you just choosing a new path and this new path for you is going in your favor um, where, you know, again, before maybe it, it felt like it was just drawn out for so long. It felt like nothing went in your favor or nothing went right for you. Um, something like that, I feel, is is happening here, Aries. I don't know why I just got a random message that somebody could have changed their phone number. I don't know if maybe you changed your number to get away from somebody or you don't want somebody to call you. That's just for somebody. Or if you considered that, like if you've been harassed by someone or you felt like you just want to change your whole life, kind of, that could just be a confirmation that maybe changing your phone number would be a good thing. Um, so we have the mentor coming up here. Yeah, so again, you're learning. I feel spirit really wants to bring you insight to know that you have... How should I say? It's kind of like the icing on the cake is this wish fulfillment and new journey for you. And it seems like it's coming from equilibrium. I think I said before to equilibrium, things in your life are starting to become more equal, meaning that I'm hearing for some, there may even be certain roads that are blocked now. You can't go back to those roads. Um, and that could be where the justice comes into. However, that's going to fit with you. It could be like, you know, metaphorically, maybe a certain road, not like an actual physical road, but like metaphorically, a road that you kept traveling before you find out one day that that road now, <laughs> yeah, there it is, is blocked. That road is, you can't go down that road anymore. And, you know, it could be a relationship. It could be a person. It could be a... I don't know what it is, but something that is no longer accessible for you. And it probably brought you pain. It could have brought you stress. It could have brought you negativity. It could have brought you like a karmic cycle, something that would kept you in the five of pentacles. A road could be becoming barricaded now. So even if you were to try to go back and travel down that road, you couldn't ex access it anymore. And I feel like this is helping to bring more equilibrium to your life so that you can be shown the right roads. I hope that makes sense. I 
Also here, Aries, I'm hearing one of your guides say that what's meant to be will be, and also what's meant to last will last. So I do feel like this is probably in relation to primarily relationships I'm getting, um, but it also could be anything else. What, what's meant to really last in your life will have to go through a series of tests of the universe kind of that you don't see sometimes. Um, so for example, if a relationship is meant to be with you forever or, or long term, it will find a way to back up out of that road and go down your road. Um, so there's a feeling of really spirit saying a sense of surrender and whatever is ultimately meant to be will definitely be. And that's where this nine of cups comes in to say your guides want to let you know too that wishes are coming true for you and things that you thought maybe weren't, were not going to happen or things you thought were, yeah, were never going to happen will, will start to come in. Okay. And then we also have the temple. Some of you quite literally could be starting a new journey in your exercise routine or diet or something to do with your nutrition and paying closer attention to your body and knowing kind of what foods to, to feed your body. But also, as I said before too, you're learning to hold a sacred space uh, and a temple. And if you haven't done this, this could be spirit's advice for you, but to almost like imagine yourself as a temple, because you are, your body is a temple. So imagining your whole like aura being protected by the sacred energy of only what you want to allow in. Um, and this way you actually manifest your dreams much faster than when you were traveling down this kind of dead end road, whatever that was. Um, especially if it, if it was something to do with your finances or you felt like with the queen of pentacles, family, finances, um, career, health, body. If you felt like you were trying to make progress in those areas, but it was, it felt like it was a dead end. It felt challenging. The more that you hold that space for yourself and your healing, that's kind of that path you're taking for the higher road here, which will help you to manifest more quickly these positive experiences and abundance in your life. We have the black jaguar. I love this. So walk through life with confidence and grace. You have power from beyond the world. Focus on what you really want. You can create your dreams. Yes, so that's pretty much exactly uh, the thing here. You can create your dreams. You have a wise soul, the mentor. Some of you actually could be mentors of some kind. You have ancient wisdom within you. I'm hearing uh, this guide say, don't lose your footing, don't lose your step. Wow, I'm actually getting to something about the blood, the sweat, the tears, could even be your ancestors coming through, something about all of that work, all of this struggle, all of this blood, sweat, tears, sacrifices that were made will turn around in your favor because of the the kind of the work that you've been doing some of you could be reaching a kind of like a king status almost you're reaching a higher level of success okay so i really hope that this could help you um aries i'm going to leave it here and um let me know please let me know if, you, if you'd like to how this connected or if this connected uh, with you. It does help me to tune into your energy better for future readings. So that would be great. And other than that, I will talk to you later. Blessings, take care, and lots of love.